Okay, guys, we're back this week. Um, guys, this is a short week. It's Thanksgiving week, short week. Um, we don't have class on Wednesday, and all we have is Monday and Wednesday of next week, and then we have a final that following week. So, does anybody have any questions on, turn it this way, I think it's, does anybody have any questions about anything that we've done? I've already told you guys, if you don't ask, I'm gonna assume that you know, okay? So when it comes down to it, and it comes down to the exam, and you're like, uh, what was that? How do we turn on um, hyper keys again? Stuff like that. So if you have any questions about anything, you need to ask, okay? And don't be afraid to ask, I mean, because if, if you don't know, I mean, there's possibly somebody else that doesn't know either, you know, so there's a chance, okay? Um, I was listening to the uh, video from Monday, yeah. from Wednesday, about the re, how to determine the recalls and the redirect. Mm -hmm. I got, are you going to go over that again? It's, it's not, uh, guys, I'm not going to make it that difficult. The exam is not going to be that difficult, okay? All you're going to have is direct, cross, redirect, recross. That's it. We're not going to go recross, 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 redirect, redirect, recross. We're not going to do any of that, okay? All I'm going to do, go through is the basics to where you're going to know how to do it, and that's it, okay? Um, I'll explain it to you guys again if you want to. I think all it's going to do is confuse you, but, I mean, I'll do it again, okay? If, if y'all want. I mean, did everybody get it? I Blank looks, it. no talk, yeah, that's great, huh? The only thing about what I didn't get, well, it was probably either something I was doing or what, but how the byline has to come all the way over here to this side, like mine wasn't doing that. Where's it going? It was staying just kind of like, not right in the middle, but just kind of, yeah. So it's, it's like, by Mr. So-and-so, and then question? Yeah, like, I don't know, we'll do it. We'll do yeah. it, and if it comes up, then show it to me or whatever, but yeah, yeah. Any questions about anything? I'm gonna go over it real quick, just real quick. Attorney one calls the witness. That's direct, okay? It doesn't matter how long he goes. He can go three hours of asking questions and people are butting in. Well, judge, I object to that. Uh, uh, overruled. Keep going with questioning. It doesn't change to redirect. He's still on direct, okay? Right. The person who calls the witness is direct. Got it? Got it. Anybody else? is cross, okay? Once we've gone through, he questioned, cross, he questioned, cross, he questioned, cross. Anybody else? Judge, I have some more questions. Now we go back to attorney one, who called the witness? Well, it's not direct anymore, it's redirect because he's redirecting on questions that probably either they asked or he had some follow-up to stuff that he didn't, he forgot to ask, okay? Now it's redirect. Recross, recross, recross. Anybody else? I do, judge. Still redirect. It doesn't change, it doesn't re, re, redirect. It's just redirect, okay? Anything after that is just redirect. Anything that these guys ask of that same witness is recross. Got it? Okay, I'm gonna give you one, one other scenario and I'm, I'm not trying to trip you up, I'm just trying to let you know the different scenarios. He calls a witness, direct, no questions, no questions, questions, that's cross, okay? Now he comes back and says, you know what, Judge, I have some questions based on what they asked. Still cross. Cross. You know what, Judge, I have some questions based on what they asked. Now it's recross. 
because this guy's already asked. So now it's recross. So once it goes into recross, even if this guy missed it all six times, it doesn't go back to cross just because it's the first time he's asking. Once it goes to recross, it stays in recross. Once it goes to redirect, it stays in redirect. Okay? We're not gonna get that in depth, okay? We're not, we're not gonna get that crazy with the questioning and on the exam. I'm just trying to teach you direct, cross, redirect, recross. That's it. And then today, we're gonna put in your title pages and your certificate page, and you're gonna learn how to fill that out. Got it? Any questions? Okay, for those of you that are taking this course online, and I think there was only two or three. I know that you were at one point, and you're in. The other girl came from Austin, she's in. I don't know of anybody else. I, I think there was one other girl from the Valley. I haven't heard. Guys, you need to text me, call me, email me or something because if you haven't gotten these block files you need to get these block files and i need to email them to you you need to call support they need to put them in you have to have all of this stuff in your computer have practice all this stuff from all of the videos that you've been watching be here on the day of the exam which is what december, 4th. december. december the 4th on monday monday december 4th Guys, I don't care if, you, if you're living on the moon and you're taking this class, if you're not here on Monday and you haven't made arrangements with me, you fail this class. I've made that pretty clear from the beginning, okay? So you have to be here for that exam. You have to. And there's gonna be six other speakers here, okay? I've already told you guys the setup. I'm, I'm trying to make it as easy as I can. Okay, I'm gonna be the court, the person next to me is gonna be the witness, and then attorney one, attorney two, attorney three, attorney four, right in line. We're gonna try to go slow, but if you mess up on the speakers, it's not that big of a deal, okay? It is, but it isn't. So it's not an excuse for you to not get the speakers correct that's not an excuse okay they're up here for a reason and they're gonna go slow for a reason okay and it's to try to get your speakers correct we're keeping it in a line we're keeping it super easy okay there's gonna be some pauses where things need to be done I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like I'm gonna tell you today what's going on and what you need to type in we're not gonna be here and attorney one says, uh, dram, dram, me, question. <laughs> not happening, okay? Are you gonna give us time like afterwards to edit it or to Of course, add? yeah, yeah, you have, that's why I'm saying if you get the speaker wrong and you accidentally get three and it was two and blah, 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 you have time to go back and change it if you remember who it was or what it was, okay? <laughs> So that's why I'm saying it's not an excuse for you to get the speakers wrong, okay? Unfortunately, I can't have the six speakers here or the five other speakers here for next week, for the two days next week. So this is why you know I'm showing you kind of what we're gonna do and how the setup is gonna be. So everything that we're doing here is pretty much what we're gonna do on the exam. So if you pay attention, pay attention it's gonna be easy, er. I'm not saying it's gonna be completely easy, but you'll be able to get it. I'm not worried about the context of what we're saying. I'm worried about the setup, okay? Your direct examinations, your exhibit, uh, input marks, your um, lunch, bench, break, off the record, stuff like that, okay? Got it? Got it? Okay.
All right. Is everyone set up, ready to go? Yes. Got it? Yes. Can, every, can you see in the back? You see all right? Yes. Okay, because I'll, all I'm going to do is point. Okay? Ready? This is cause number 2017 PA 0001 in the interest of Raymond Pettis. Everyone, please announce for the record. Dale Hill, attorney for the state. Jack Davis, attorney for the children. Laura Davis, attorney for the mother. Sam Jones, attorney for the father. Mr. Hill, call your first witness. We call Sandra Gonzalez. Please raise your right hand and be sworn. Sworn, sworn. Mr. Hill, begin questioning. Your Honor, may we approach the bench? Ben, Ben. Back on the record, you may begin questioning. Dram, dram. Question. Please state your Name. Answer. My name is Sandra Gonzalez. Question. Where do you live? Answer. I live at 
111 East Main. Your Honor, may I have this document marked as States Exhibit 1. Mark, mark. Question. Ms. Gonzalez, do you recognize this document? Answer. Yes. No further questions. Cram, cram. I'm sorry, guys. Cram, cram. Attorney two. Question. Where do you work? Answer. Academy. No further questions. No questions. Briefly, Your Honor. Cram, cram. Question. What kind of car do you drive? Answer. Camaro. No further questions. Anything further? Briefly, Your Honor. Read Dram Dram. Question. What street did the accident happen on? Answer. Main Avenue. No further questions. Just briefly, re-cram-cram. Cram. Question, whose fault was the accident? Answer, not mine. No further questions. Anything else? Your Honor, can we go off the record? Off, off. Back on the record. We're breaking for 
lunch now. Got it? All right. Should be everything. Before you start editing, I'm going to show you what to do. For God's sakes, pay attention. Okay? <laughs> All right. You should have started right here. Is there a space right here? Does anyone not have a space right here? Where it starts on number one. Yeah. Where it starts like. Where it starts like that. Does anyone have it like that? No. No. I have on top a direct examination by attorney name. Okay. Short name, date, and cause and effect, trip, what's yeah, don't worry about that. Okay. Don't worry about all of that stuff. Okay. That's, then I do have the uh, and all that. That's, um, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. I got, that. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, if you do have it like this, If you do have it like this, then what you can do, I, I haven't really figured out a way. This is the way that I do it. It might be a little bit of a long way, but if it's the court right here, which it should be, whatever it is, okay, go to your speaker list, which is what? F2. F2. Pick the one that you need and see how it brings it down. Don't worry about it. Okay, if you're on one like this, get right here on the first word. If you're not, and yours is like this, then get right here on the first line. Got it? Got it. 
Okay, how do we insert a block file? Alt R. For read. Read in a block file. Alt R. So you're going to come to Alt R. Should bring this up. Is everyone here? Yes. Everyone's here. Okay. Type in TI, which should bring up title. Got it? Yes. Highlight title to where it looks like this. Is everyone right here? On mine, it says it on top title page and then we have a TI at the bottom. But I have title page. Yeah, it doesn't matter, just highlight it. Is it highlight? Yeah. yeah. Now press open. Okay. Open. So it should look like this. If you go to the top of the page, how do you go to the top of the page? Alt G. Very good. We didn't have open on ours, just okay, and we didn't They didn't put it in there? Yeah. I had okay too, but it just put it, it didn't put it in the middle. I have like page break and so. Yes, it's right there. Oh, maybe we'll oh, put it up. That's right. You gotta scroll up. It's gonna, oh. it's gonna put it in there and then put you down at the bottom of the page. So when it puts it in, it doesn't bring you to that page. It brings you to the bottom. So it doesn't look like it's there. Page up or arrow up till you get to the top right here. Got it? Yeah, mine is on the top, but it just brought up something else like page break. And, but it did pull up that. Yeah, don't worry about any of that. Okay. Guys, on some of these, and I didn't take them out, of everybody's and I and I should have and for that I apologize that's kind of my fault but what it is is you're gonna see this don't worry about that okay you see that it's not on line one right right don't worry about it okay it doesn't do anything that you need it to do that's for the auto indexing remember that I told you it's super hard and you're gonna need to take that class when you get out remember it's right. super hard, ridiculous stuff, okay? Don't worry about that stuff. And I should have taken it out. Don't worry about it. It doesn't print. All it does is like you kind of see it sometimes when you're editing, okay? Don't worry about it, all right? As long as it's not on line one, which it's not going to be, don't worry about it. Got it? Got and it. if you want to, you can erase them if you want to and just... How do you yank a line? Control Y. Control Y. Boom, 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 boom. Right there. You can yank all those lines out if it bothers you that much to look at it. Okay? Got it? All right. So now you're in hyper keys, which is what? Alt Z. Alt Z. So now you're here. Remember these? What are these called? Form field, fill in the blanks. So, what you're going to do is start filling in the blanks. Got it? All right. So, you come to the first one, E. You don't need to mess with it because this is volume one of one volume. It's the first day of this hearing. Now, if you go through and you have like nine days, okay, well, now it's volume nine of nine, okay? Or however many days there's gonna be, okay? And say it's the first day, and you know what's gonna go two days. It doesn't really matter. It's not until you get to the end that you're gonna know how many volumes it is. Well, you know what, we went six days, but I'm working on the first day, so now it's volume one of six. Got it? Mm -hmm. You don't need to worry about that. All you need to know is it's volume one of volume one. I'm keeping it simple for you guys. I'm just explaining to you 
if you go multiple days, what it's gonna be, and that's why the numbers are there. Volume one, a volume whatever. Got it? <clears throat> okay, so when you don't need anything and it's already in there, what do you do? Just press enter. And it goes down to the next one. So now you're at the cause number. What's the cause number? Guys. The one that you told us? Yes. So zero, 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 one, P8 something. Oh no, 2017. Are you dyslexic? 2017. So now it's the year, P8. So look, pay attention because this is the way that it needs to be set up. So I'm gonna give you a sheet of what it's gonna look like, okay? So all you have to do is follow the sheet right. after the exam of what it's gonna look like. But what you need to do is print this whenever you can, once we finish it, to see what it looks like, to see what the finished product looks like. Got it? Got it? Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So it's 2017 dash cap PA dash 0001. Remember? Is it coming back at all? Got it? Got it. All right, press enter. So now it comes to the child's name. In the interest of Raymond Pettis. Raymond Pettis. So now you, it's in all caps, R-A-Y-M-O-N-D-P-E-R-E-Z. Got it? Got it. Pay attention. Pay attention, guys. Look. Every now and then, and I, I need to change probably the setting, I think, but it's not that big of a deal. When you press enter, see how it gets it offline a little bit? Don't freak out. There's a way to fix that, all right? So it's in the court of, in the district court of, we're just gonna say 306, because that was my old court. The 306th ordinal. Got it? And it was Raymond Perez. I think I said child, right? No. Or children? Children. Was it children? It was children. All right. Children. Got it? Got it. Boom. So now all you need to do is if it bothers you that much to see that thing, exit out of here, and look, it puts you on the outside. So all you need to do is come up here, arrow over, control arrow over, and then space bar over and line it up. So arrow up, control arrow over is one space at a time, get on it, and then space bar over to where it lines up. Is everybody there? Yeah. I'm, I'm there now. How do you make it even? What's the last? Uh, space bar. Oh, oh, oh just there. space bar until you get it yeah, even. Until you get it even. Oh, and then bring these other ones over. Oh. Instead of control arrow over. <laughs> I can do like seven. And, and then push it over. So backspace. Yeah. All right. Yours is two. Yeah. To where they're all lined up. You just need to move these over. So if, don't, yeah. so if if it's coming over, guys, if and, and it's supposed to be in the district court and your court is down here, then get on this thing and come over one at a time until court attaches back onto it to where it lines up. Got it? Now some, some people had theirs way over here. This one that's blank was way over here. Don't freak out. Get on it and backspace till it lines up. So all of them should line up. This is the way that it should look. Is everybody there? Is anybody not there? I'm not there yet. Thank you. 
it says M D. Get all that Thank you. So all you need to do is go down all the needs of back on the one to where it lines up. So come down. So one of the one of the students was asking about how how are you gonna know? Guys, I'm telling you when I'm dictating. This is 2017 PA0001. That's the cause number. So when you go through and edit, you're writing this down. Oh, that's the cause number. I'm gonna need that. In the interest of Raymond Pettis. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need that because it's in the interest of Raymond Pettis. I'll give you the court and I'm gonna tell you what kind of hearing it is. And it's probably gonna be the date is the date that we're taking the exam. So you kind of already know that one, all right? So we're gonna go through. You said you entered a 306 and it's not that easy. It's not even high value anymore. Well, I mean, because there's no blue thing up there, you were already. So what you need to do is arrow over. Yeah, you're right there. Now insert, which is what? In insert. I. In. 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 Try, try doing three. 
O6 TH space. And now you need another one of these. You need to delete that line right there, that blank line. through this super duper duper slow so pay attention because if not it's going to get messed up and then it's really going to get messed up and then you're going to get further behind okay so we're here i don't care where you are right there get right here in this white space where there's nothing there's like four lines right there pick one where there's nothing. So get into the next field, which is what? E. e. So you should be right here. Mine doesn't yeah. say hearing. What does it say? Blank. It just goes to month. It just, it just has month? Did you erase it? I might have. But, I mean, I only did that for the month. I mean, it's just like yours. Yours only yeah. have... That, but I'll put eight on it. Whoa, I just got a back guy. Fixing the break again. Careful. All right. If you're here, you should be. You should have hearing. Put trial on the merits or murders. Got it? Guys, do not get ahead of me. Just stay with me, okay? You're going to end up messing it up and whatever, okay? Everybody's here? Yes. Got it? Got it. Now press enter. See how it puts it in there? Nice and easy. Now for the month. What's the month? December. Huh? The test date. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at. Hey, lady, <laughs> take it easy. We're going with today. Okay. November. <laughs> Got it? Just like that. Don't get ahead. Don't start putting the date because the day's over here. Okay? Got it? It's yeah. November. Enter. 20 if th comma 20th comma got it everybody here i know i know 20th comma got it how right there 2017 got it enter so now it comes down and you have this little thing that they it's more of a formal informal thing or whatever uh, telling what the proceedings are so it kind of goes over it again on the 20th but now it's not capped so be careful this one is in this little text so it doesn't really need to be capped it's up it's capped up here because it's part of the hearing all right down here it doesn't need to be so on the 20th day of November 2017. So now it comes to attorneys. Is everybody here? Yeah. Yes? Yes. yes? All right. Who was the attorney for the state? Bill Hill. Mr. Dale Hill. Guys, always formal. Mr. Ms. If you don't know if they're married, this is the way that I learned. If you don't know if they're married, and I, even if I do know that they're married, I still put it MS. I still put it. 
I don't know why, I still do to this day. So if I don't know for sure, I just put MS. So I just put MS all the time. So this way I don't, you know, but it's always formal. Mr. Miss, Mr. Del Hill, he's an attorney at law, so you don't need to mess with it. So you just press enter and he goes down to the next one. Who was the next one? Davis. Mr. Jack Davis. Got it? Got it. it should look like that. Press enter. He's the attorney at law. So this is more like if he works for a firm. So if he works for a firm, then he puts something different there. Davis, Davis, and Gonzalez, or whatever. But it's not. He's just an attorney at law by himself, practicing by himself. So he's just an attorney at law. All right? So now it's what? Children. Was it a child? Yeah. It was children. So just type in children. Got it? Got it. Enter. Who was the next attorney? Laura. So Ms. Oh, yeah. Laura Davis. Got it? Got it. Enter. Does she represent the mother? Yes. Yeah. She does. Press enter. Who was the next attorney? Sam Jones. Mr. Sam Jones. Got it? Got it. Enter. Did he represent the father, or were there multiple fathers? Father. It was just a father. Now, if you ever go sit in my court, you think it's kind of weird now, because it's like, fathers, oh, uh, trust me, <laughs> trust me, okay? The record was nine. The record in 22 years that I sat there was oh, nine dads for 13 kids. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you think? So she it's had father. a social life. I mean, she's just living off of so child support, right? <laughs> she was living on the government, but whatever. So it's father, okay? Pay attention, look. Father, boom. Now it comes back to hearing, okay? So what was it? Oh, wait, I gotta get out of here. Try to learn the matter. Volume one. Volume one. Yeah, huh? mine's on one. Just press enter. Okay. Okay. Does it go to hearing? Yeah. So, trial so trial 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 keep hearing. going. Okay. Huh? Press press hearing. Hearing. So good. Then going that's going. good. Keep going. Yeah. So we get no, 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 no. Okay, Hang on. Hearing. Don't. Now it comes to hearing. Okay. Yeah. Now that. Okay. Everyone's on hearing. Yeah. Everyone's there? Okay. Type, retype in trial on the merits. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Trial Enter. On the Date. Date was November 20th. Now it's capped again because it's in a thing by itself. 2017, so now it's all together. It's not asking for the day, the month, the year, it's all together. Now it's just asking for the date, okay? So you put it all together. November 20th, comma, 2017. Enter. So now it comes to witness. What was the name of the witness? Sandra Gonzalez. Sandra Gonzalez, so it's Sandra, G-O-N-Z-A-L-E-S. This is where it gets a little weird, and I still, I was working with support, weren't able to kind of figure it out or whatever, but whatever. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So press enter. And guys, what you wanna do is you wanna go through and edit your job before you do this. One, to get all the information. Cause number, the witness's name, the style of the case, 
the witnesses are correct. I mean, the attorneys are correct. The attorney for the state was blah. The attorney for the child was blah. Mom, dad, all of these attorneys. And you're writing it down on your sheet, okay? So when you go through, you're paying attention to what you're doing. And you're also paying attention to direct, cross, redirect, recross, and what page it's on. So as you're going through, you're paying attention. Oh, direct was on page four. Boom, four. So we're just gonna kind of fill it in right now, just because I'm showing you how to do it. Okay. So page four, and let's just say there was all three of them cross-examined, okay? Some people do it different. This is kind of still the same way that I do it is this way. So let's just say it was 10, 11, 14. This is the way that I do it. Got it? Got it. So maybe there was only one, which I did only one, okay? But if you have three, that's what it looks like. If you have two, that's what it looks like. If you have one, that's what it looks like. We only have one. I'm showing you if there's three. Got it? Got it. All right, enter. So now it's redirect. It was page 11. There was only one redirect. Got it? Now you're on recross. Got it? Yeah. Is it just uh, where the where the cross starts, that's the page number? Yeah. Okay. You don't put every page on No, page. no. You'll have 78 pages. <laughs> don't need that. The only time you do it is where it comes up, cross-examination. That's it. Got it? All right, on the recross, let's just say it was 13. How? So now we have, and I'm gonna come up here and show you how to fix it. I'll show you how to fix it right now. So let's exit this, come up here, get on the four, and backspace it to where it looks kind of even. It should look like this. Oh yeah. You got it? All right. So now arrow over to the next one and space bar it till it's kind of even with cross or somewhere there. It Cross has five letters so it kind of makes it a little awkward. Got it? Arrow over. It's not going to, I don't know if it's going to let me. To where it's even with redirect and then arrow over to the next one. Space. Something's wrong with the, and I, I, I think it's y'all's, I think it's the student version. For some reason, it's messing up the, um, because this should be at like yeah. 56, so it should be over here. And I think y'all's is on 52. Go into your um, user settings, which is what? All you. Paragraphs. 56 is mine. See, mine is 56. Mine is everybody's 56? 56. 56? No. Yeah. But if you look up on this thing, yeah. yours, LaRosa, was 52. Yeah. Is yeah. it 52 on your user settings? Mm -hmm. It I is? It's fixed okay. now. Did it move it over? Yeah. Okay. Now, it shouldn't line up with... The witness. So if your direct is like right here, it's not right. Yeah, I gotta move that back. Yeah, 
move it back to where it's just on the other side of Gonzales and recross does not come under here. And when I move it over, the recross drop back down. It did? Try moving it to like 60. Does, okay. it, does it work now? Mm -hmm. Okay. You might need to move it to like 60. Okay. And it's this little, there's a little arrow pointing under these things and it should be around 52, 56. Get on it, left click it, and move it over to like 60, and it should let you get over. Does it? Everybody's good? Mm -hmm. Everybody's good. good. Perfect. Weird. Okay, now come down here in the white somewhere, right below the witness. How do we get into the field? E. e. So now at States Exhibit, Number one. one. So it's going to be MO period one and it's going to be like period, period, period. And then what was it? I'm going to say it was a picture. Okay? So let's just do pick. P I C. So you put whatever it is. Like if it was an order, like sometimes, you know, he's been. Uh, guilty of another offense and they're like you know we want to enter this order where it shows that he was convicted of this thing he did nine years in prison blah 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 and we're gonna enter this order well you know it's an order so all you do is one order or whatever it is picture order whatever okay I'm gonna make it simple it's just gonna be a picture so number one pick Let's just say it was on page, we marked it on page nine. We offered it on page nine and it was admitted on page nine. Guys, I didn't really go through this with you guys because I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can. But just kind of go through and, and center these things again. Yeah, I'm just making it easy. So we didn't go through in the body of the hearing to say, you know what, uh, Judge, I want to offer States Exhibit 1. Any objections? No objection, no objection, no objection. Okay, it's admitted. Well, sometimes they'll go, Judge, I, I want to uh, uh, mark States Exhibit 1. Okay, mark, mark. Then they come back. They can't really go into the body of it until they admit it. So what they're trying to do is they'll ask the witness sometimes a couple of questions because they're authenticating the thing. So I'm not trying to get too in depth, but I'm trying to let you know what they're doing, okay? They're trying to authenticate it. You know what, we've authenticated it. It's something that you took a picture of. You took this picture, yes. It was on this day, yes it was. Okay, uh, Judge, I'm gonna offer uh, States Exhibit 1. So it was marked on nine, admitted on nine, no objection. You know what, Judge? Uh, I object, uh, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, we, we don't know. Well, Judge, you know, we don't know if she really took the picture. Well, she took the picture. I think she took the picture. And it may go on for like two pages where they're arguing about whether this piece of evidence gets admitted, okay? So finally the judge says, you know what? It's admitted. Well, you marked it on nine. It was offered on nine, but it wasn't admitted till 11. So that's why when you go through, and I always say this, always print your document to proofread it. This way you know which page it's on, okay? So like when I go through and I proofread, I pull this page out which is page three. I've looked at page one, flip it, looked at page two, everything's correct. Page three, pull it out, pull it to the side. Now when you're proofreading, the pages go on this side with the other ones, but page three is out here because you have your witness list 
and you have your exhibit list, okay? You're not usually gonna have one witness and one exhibit. If you're taking an all day hearing, they may be 20 witnesses. If you're taking a murder case, there could be 20 witnesses and 500 exhibits. So now you gotta go through, find that page again. No, you put it off to the side. You put all of your information right there. Exhibit, I mean, the witness's name, direct, cross, redirect, recross, witness's name, the next witness, direct, cross, 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 redirect, recross, 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 next witness. So you have it all down. So when you come to page three to fill it in, and, and you're putting your um, corrections after you've proofread, that's where you put in your information. Make sense? Okay. So that's where we are. So we want to get back in. Did we have any respondents' exhibits? So how do we enter the field? E. E. So did we have any? No. No. So we don't need a page number there, nothing. Okay. So now it's going to go down to the body of the thing. So what you need to do is get down to the body of it and make sure that it started on line one. Sometimes it'll drop it down to line two. So how do you yank that line to get it to pay to line one? So it should start on page four. The body should start on page four because you have the title page, you have the appearance page of all the attorneys, and then you have the witness and exhibit page, which is page three. So the body of the hearing should start on page four. Got it? I have. Oh yeah, yeah. The respondents' exhibit states that it's none. N A N A N A. Scroll down to page one. So we're just page five.
So, mine is in the beginning. That's probably why I'm going to start on page two. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this for you. No more. Do it. How do you do that? Turn that, turn that thing. Oh,